What is happening guys? My name is Mike and I run the YouTube channel Modern Man TV. Today I'm here once again for the Blue Mon Community Channel to continue our mini series Blue Mon Breakdown that we started last month breaking down all the products in the Blue Mon lineup. If you missed the first three episodes now covering original Cavalier and most recently Hybrid, you definitely need to check those out. There's a lot of good information in those videos on those products if you've ever needed to know anything about those, how to use it, what they offer, all of that is in those videos. But today we're gonna be covering the Monarch Matte Paste. And it will be my goal today to offer you everything you need to know about this matte paste in order for you to decide if it will work for your hair or not. Now the Monarch Matte Paste is really one of those products that offers a lot more than it appears to. At first glance, we have a standard matte paste, but inside each scoop, there's actually a lot going on there. Inside here, we have a medium to high hold with defined texture and smooth application that is achieved through some key ingredients, including both bentonite and kale and clay for both a matte finish and great texture. And to balance things out, we also have shea butter in there, which brings a nice sense of conditioning to the mix, as well as providing antioxidants. Now that bentonite clay that's inside here is also great for providing minerals that encourage hair growth. So if you think about it, all inside this one matte paste, we've got health, hair growth, texture, matte finish, conditioning, great hold, creamy consistency, all of these things just packed into one jar. But how does it work? Let's now talk about using this matte paste, actually putting it to use. It's really not complicated. There's not much to it at all. But for me, it does start with clean blow dried hair. Now for this demo, I'm gonna be using about two scoops and really it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna spread it around my hands and then I'm just gonna work it into my hair as best as I can. I'm making sure to get it into the roots all over. I'm, you know, I'm just spreading it around. And after that, I'm just gonna go to work shaping my stuff using both my standard comb and my wide tooth comb for the pieces that are a bit drier like the top. Overall, I do have to say, I think it's really easy to style with. There really isn't much of an effort needed here in order to get a great style. And for me, that looks like this. Now with this matte paste, I think I actually bring a unique perspective to the mix with this one, because if I'm being honest, the hold on this one doesn't last all day for me. The hold is not enough for my thick hair to get an all day style out of this. And this is something that I actually discussed in my review of this product on my channel. I think my perspective on this is unique because it prompted me to find ways to make it work. I still use this product to this day. And a lot of people, you know, they say, well, maybe, are, are you an ambassador? Are you paid to use it? But no, it's none of that. I choose to use this to this day because I have found ways to make it work. And because it works, that's why I use it. If it didn't work, if I tried all these things and it didn't work, I'd stop using it. I found ways to make it work using methods and mostly, you know, using other products as a pre-styler to kind of stretch out the endurance. And the reason I do this again is just because I like the style and the results that I get from the product. I use this all the time. I just wanted it to stick around in my thick hair a little longer. That was really the big issue. And for me, the answer to that big issue was pre-styling. Really, I think in the grand scheme of things, this here is to post-styling what original by Blumon is to pre-styling. Basically, I've used this with everything. I've used it, everything from original itself to texture sprays, Enigma from the Lockhearts, all types of stuff, and it works great. In fact, let me just go ahead and show you how well it works. We're gonna start here with a pre-styler. We're gonna start with hybrid. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep it clay on clay today and go with some hybrid as a pre-styler. I've skipped ahead and already done that step here, so we're all pre-styled up and ready to receive the Monarch. And really, I'm not changing anything about the way I apply it. I'm doing everything pretty much that I showed you in the first demo. Two scoops, I just run it through my hair and then I begin to style. And what I see here in the form of differences is I get a bit more resistance in the application. That resistance is minimal, but it's there to provide more security in the hold. And that's what I'm looking for, because what this is going to do for me is bridge the gap and extend extend that endurance out a bit. Really other than that, again, it's not too much different than styling on fresh hair. I use the same two combs, I style it the way I want to, and here's the result that I get. Now, one thing I wanted to mention here too is that it is possible, I believe, to use too much of this product or use it incorrectly. I see people sometimes make posts about their issues with this or, you know, 
products all the time. I see people complain about stuff all the time. And usually the issues come from using too much or using things incorrectly. And that's the same here. If you load your hair up with this, if you use a ton of it, it's not gonna come out in a matte finish. It's just not. I mean, that's not the product's fault that you're using too much. You do need to find the proper way to use it. And sometimes that can vary from person to person. Moving on though, to another great feature of this matte paste, the washout, just water. It's pretty simple. All I need to get this out of my hair is some water. I am an everyday washer, so that means I use shampoo in my hair every day, sometimes multiple times a day, actually. So for me, it's really easy because shampoo absolutely pulls it out, no question about it. But if you guys don't wash every day, some of you really look for a water only rinse out product, this will do that. Water will pull it out, at least it does for me. And if any was gonna stick around, I'd notice because I test things very thoroughly when I review them on my channel. So I ran it through the water, it came out of my hair. I didn't feel anything left over. That's pretty much it. In the end here, I do think that the Bloomon team did a great job on this product. And I say that too, because I happen to be on the testing team for this one. And no, that doesn't make me biased at all because all I did was give my opinion there. They wanted my honest opinion on how it performed. So I gave it to them just like I'm giving it to you now. I said the exact same things to them that I'm saying to you right now. But being on the testing team, I know how much work actually went into it all the feedback, changing the formula based on feedback, sending out new testers, testing it, you know, updating, and finally we have this product. And again, I just gave them my opinion on it just like I'm giving it to you. And the biggest thing that I hope you take away from this video after watching this is Monarch is not just hybrid with a little bit more hold. To this day, I still see people typing that out. Every time I see it, I kind of laugh to myself and think either they haven't tried both hybrid and Monarch or they're perfectly happy to mislead people. Hybrid and Monarch are very different products and I hoped after watching this you guys would get that. I hope you guys would see that and I hope after watching this and the hybrid video you guys would have a better look at both of them and what they can offer you in your hair. As always though, if you would like to check this or any of the Bloomon products out, a link will be in the description there along with a coupon code. It's super easy. It's just my name, Mike. Type it in the coupon code box there. It will save you some money. So make sure you use that on your next order. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you tap that like button for me. And if you're not a subscriber to this channel or my channel, Modern Man TV, then you absolutely need to do that, especially this channel because we still got products to cover in this mini series. And in fact, in the next episodes, we'll be covering the fifth sample, Styling Mask Pomade and a new product coming to the Bloomon lineup. That's right, a new product, it's gonna be awesome. So hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications if you haven't already, you definitely don't wanna miss those. But I do believe that's it for today's episode. Once again, my name is Mike and I wanna thank you so much for stopping by the Bloomon community channel. Take it easy, I'll see you next time.